Hello, hello and welcome. Today is the day two of Assam trip and we are from Manas. Very, very good morning and really good morning from Assam today. And uh, you can see there has been torrential rainfalls all throughout the night and it is still raining today. It had been raining five minutes back and now there are birds although the sky is not looking promising. I really don't know whether we can go out or not because the safari jeeps are like this although they can be covered but there is like real problems that are coming up when rains are there. There are birds, look, citrine wagtail. They are all wet and you can see the conditions. It is gloomy, misty, it looks beautiful and this is what Assam gives you surprises like. Okay, so we are already having some of the blue skies up there. But overall, the sky is not at all promising. I really wish that it doesn't rain and let brush my teeth and there we go oriental white eyes wow i gotta bring my camera now let me get back to my place and take some of the pictures of oriental white eyes before i go to safari so i've taken my camera and I'll now be trying to take those shots of oriental white eyes and there are many bars. So I have the gimbals and the monopod set here. My father will be taking the bean bag and we are ready for the safari. Green leaf bar I can have fantastic. bringing us our breakfast inside the cars and there we go we're all set now let me just feed the gimbals and uh, the monopod and uh, then I will catch up with you later after our supper starts there you go it's now 6.25 and we are leaving for the safari I won't be talking much when we enter into the forest however I just want to end the conversation here and would like to request you to sit back, enjoy and relax with the serene beauty of Manas National Park. This is the jungle and this is the area map of Vansari range. The range we are entering right now. I can see there are three rivers with its tributaries and many camps. We have a whole day safari after waiting half an hour. We are now moving inside the forest and let's see what we can see.
Might have already seen the video of Plinprinia. Plinprinias are small birds, usually found in the grasslands, and they are common in the grasslands of West Bengal as well. But finding them here at so close distance is another grace for sure. And we are in Manas, and we haven't found anything else yet. New Buraburi camp. stopped here for the breakfast and uh, this is a this is a camp where we are supposed to do the breakfast hi hi boy So what we have in breakfast? Jam, cold bread. Okay, so we are on the move again. We have had our breakfast and it took quite a few time now. It's a beautiful sunshine now. We have seen few sites of the Bengal Florican as we left from the checkpoint there. Uh, two of them were flying there and it went all the way 
we have got few shots against the light but it came good now they're trying to capture the osprey there is a kind of raptor okay so let me tell you about the bengal florican it is a bird of grassland and is highly unseen nowadays the sunshine is also quite rising taking its forms the sky is clear with a bit of haze we are now seeing if we can catch a glimpse of any mammal After we met with our first mammal of the forest, the water buffaloes, we headed on towards the dense forest region. We moved across many big trees and suddenly our car stopped and we saw a very rare phenomenon known as mud puddling. Butterflies, mostly the male, congregate and uptake the sodium and amino acids from the mud, dung, urine of mammals of decaying flesh then transferred them to the female during the mating. This whole phenomenon is very unique to butterflies and are known as mud puddling. So, those grey mountains belong to Bhutan. It is 10.30 now and we have reached the Moragiati anti-poaching camp under Project Tiger 2011 and 12. So we have found some butterflies and let me see if I can get them or not. Previously we have also seen mud puddling which is a very rare phenomenon. So we stopped here as the road is being cleared because a big tree has fallen on it. Yesterday's storm, it was devastating as we all know. So we are waiting for the road to be cleared and then we'll move again. Lots of incidents are happening. However, what we are expecting to see is not coming in front of us. It would have been better if there was a tiger or any wild animal. Even a rhino, no luck. We have seen them, but they are really, really far. Unlike Khaziranga, where they roam around like domestic cows, this place has 
very scarce wildlife but this place is beautiful to be in Stan because the forest looks majestic and I'm loving it. The chainsaws have been used to cut the trees. And there we go. I'm walking on the forest floor and going to show you the actual situation of this place now. You can see there are water on potholes on every corner of the forest. And look at the size of this big tree. So today we cannot go to the river. We might have to try tomorrow again later. But just watch them cleaning the trees, clearing up the roads. Look at the size. Reminds me of Amphan. There's a video of mine you can see in my channel on Amphan. It has been a super massive cyclone on the Bay of Bengal and I've made a cinematic video. Uh, the, it was in 2020, I suppose. You can check it on my channel and uh, let me show you something. This tree is actually the cotton tree that has fallen down and you can see this is the cotton with which the pillows are made, the natural cotton. And it has been lying all over the forest floor. Meanwhile, Johnny Varia is in tension. Look at the cotton falling. The full forest looks like it's snow flaking all the way, and it is beautiful. I'm kind of loving this atmosphere. The storm has made all the cottons get burst open and this is how it looks like now this is the fruit I almost got hit it's 11.30 now we are heading to our location where we will have our lunch after eating we will again set out for the adventures let's see by the time there is a JCB to clear the road if it is done on time then after lunch we can definitely head towards the river alright so we have now came here okay so we have now come out of the forest and ki khobor dim We've got some wild elephants and and we cannot stop because there are a bunch of them with full family. So that is it for the morning safari. In the next episode, we'll be encountering a herd of wild elephants who came across our way while we are crossing the Buraburi camp. You are watching Amrita Mukherjee vlogs. And don't forget to share among your friends and subscribe my channel if you really like the video then put a thumbs up. Thank you, stay tuned and Jai Hind.